Quick update today, I uh, got the truck ready for winter, took Papa Woody for a ride in the Beretta. Uh, he got to drive that for the first time. Tried doing a burnout, that was interesting. We'll show you that. And uh, I put this Chevy Tahoe lip on the truck. I think it looks pretty good. So I just stuck this Tahoe lip on and I don't know, it doesn't look too bad. The guys on the truck group on Facebook swear that it's like two miles a gallon better uh, from aerodynamics. I doubt that on 8.1. That's like 15 or 20% of the gas mileage. But if it helps, it helps. I do think that's a better looking front end than anything that's brand new. Ain't even Pop. doing two grand. Papa Woody. Yeah, that's. <laughs> Ain't even doing two grand. Two two thousand and seventy eight miles an hour. Wow. Driving Pretty something cool. with some actual power. Yeah, right. <laughs> More than that. Four forty. Yeah, I'll fix it. I'll have to build that myself. Uh, give her a rip. <laughs> Yeah, that's fourth gear. You got a couple more. Yeah, I know, but I, <laughs> I don't trust these fucking deer around here. Sure. What it did to my gun. That's, that's their, or uh, fourth, four. I guess, the sixth then. Yeah. Nothing. Too many gears. Oh, well, three grand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever. Three, four. Well, you gotta give it throttle, too. I don't know, that's what I'm wondering now too. That was second, Eric. All right, let's see what's going on here. Oh, we run out of gas? It was getting low on gas, maybe we're running out. Oh, can't do that, can right. we? Well, let's see what's going on. Says we got a little bit, but she is out of gas. <laughs> yeah, when it was running really rough, I could see it was peg lean. Alright. Guess we gotta throw a little bit of gas in it. No wonder it didn't want to do a burnout. With no fuel. Yeah. So it turns out I was out of gas. Um and one of these marks here. Oh, that must be the fresh one right there. So it works fine once it has gas in it. So I'm not sure if this will be the last drive of the year, because now it's dark before I'm even out of work. And uh the deer are crazy at night. I don't really want to smash this thing up. But I do have a list of things I want to get done on this this winter. But it's that time of the year again for fluid filming. The truck just barely fits on my trailer here. I got about an inch for the runways before I'm scrubbing the fenders. And not much before it's off the runway either. All right, I'm fluid filming here. And uh, let's take a look at these mufflers. These are my stainless 409 mufflers that I've had on here for four years. Um, <clears throat> got some 304 pipe and uh, clamps and stuff. Clamped them in here. Zero welding on any of this stuff. Um, they still sound fine. No issues. They're not looking great. But my last truck had 409 stainless and it turns brown and kind of ugly looking. But uh, it doesn't actually rot through. And uh, still looking pretty good. <laughs> I mean, the rest of the truck is looking halfway decent, too, still. Alright, looks like I do have a little bit of a leak here. But, uh, that's kind of minor. I don't really hear it when I'm driving, either. Okay, so here you can see I'm from the underside. And the way that I set this up to replace that gigantic muffler that came on this from the factory. Um, you can see anything I haven't fluid filmed is getting kind of ugly. Which is why I always fluid film this thing. But uh, this is a self tapper that I put in here because these stupid little clamps, I don't like the U bolt clamps because then you can't get anything apart. So I was like, oh, I'll use these. These are supposed to be better. Well, they would loosen up with the stainless uh, expansion and contraction. And then this thing would sort of tip over and rub on the drive shaft. I wonder if there's still, yeah, maybe that's still a witness mark. But uh, I ran self-tappers in here just to keep it from rotating. So even if it does loosen up just a little bit, uh, it doesn't rotate and everything works fine. I put four years on this thing, a whole bunch of miles, uh, towing, all that kind of stuff. And 
it's still been pretty good. So fluid filming this thing every year. I think I did miss one year, but <laughs> it keeps things looking pretty good. It's like the bolts are still in nice shape. <coughs> you can't really fluid film the exhaust. And this has been the same amount of time, same amount of winters. And look at the freaking difference. The stuff that you can't fluid film looks really ugly in a hurry. Uh, I figured I'd probably better clean the mud off of these things before I put them up for the winter. Poor Brett is out here sitting in the weather, waiting to get this garbage out of here. Mutual friend of my old man has this uh, 62 Corvette, and he's doing a full chassis underneath it. This is an LS2, and it's a TKX from Hanlon. And uh, they've got this little shifter to make it come up through the factory spot. That's kind of a cool little deal. Uh, C4 rear suspension. I think it's C4 front stuff also. And uh, he got this whole chassis kit from some Corvette specialist. He told me, but I don't remember who it was. He tells me this is an LS2 here. This is like a one of those Holly front runner deals or something like that. And uh, that's the exact same intake manifold I got on the Beretta. All right, so... Here's a new engine for the Beretta. 